<laughs> Rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. But were you? Yeah. Did you have a relationship with him? Were you yeah, a fan of him? Yeah, that's my dog. Okay. Yeah. So you can respect what he was bringing to the table. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I had no no complaints against Kevin Samuels. I mean, it was harsh, but I'm harsh. Right. You know what I'm saying? And but so, it feels like the the void that has been created by Kevin Samuels leaving is that now we only have like white manosphere type people telling people how to live their lives, and it, the game is not the same. I, that I couldn't believe that the black community elected a white bitch to tell you how to how to get a black man like that shit right there threw me. You're talking about Pearl? Yes. <laughs> You're not a Pearl I said, fan, Pearl I'm ain't saying. never even had black dick before. How she gonna <laughs> tell a black woman how to treat a black man? Right. Like, that's what the fuck? And I said, D- we're, we're done. We're yeah. doomed. And they call her the female version of Kevin Sample. What the fuck? Yeah. I asked her for an interview, right? Because oh, I was gonna get in the ass about that slavery oh, we gotta shit. gotta make that happen. Nah, she got scared. She did? She did. She went on H2, H2, and they slaughtered her ass. H3, H3. H3, H3. But yeah, they, they, they slaughtered did slaughter. her ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I realized that early on because I interviewed her very early on, and it was like as soon as I started to get outside of her like standard talking points, she really did not know what to say. No. And I want the best for her. But watching her like go down this weird thing where she just tweets the worst shit about women possible mm-hmm. on a regular basis is just kind of. And she's the worst type of woman there is. She's very pale. <laughs> she's very uh, uh, Netherland shaped. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That bitch like fucking Amazonian, blonde hair, no fucking features. Bitch couldn't tan if you if, if you did it, you know, physically to her like. And just to hear her sit up and say a bunch of ignorant shit about a community that she knows nothing about, that she didn't even fucking grow up around. Right. But black people are so fucking desperate for a platform with a million followers, they'll sit any fucking where yeah. and let bitches like her call them niggas to a fight. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. That is kind of my But then they want to say, I'm destroying the black community, but you helping a white bitch destroy y'all right before the world and profit off of y'all. Right. Y'all some bitches. That's why I was um, well, I know you're a fresh and fit fan, though, right? <laughs> You know what? I'm going to say this about Fresh and Fit. I feel that a lot of their their message comes from their true experiences with women. Mm. They're not the best looking men, right? But they're smart. I think they're smart. And, you know, if you went to high school, you know, girls didn't want the smart guys. Mm. They wanted the jocks. They wanted them tall. They wanted them with a little swag. And you, they don't have swag. Right. You know, but they're still getting ass, and that's they're, very motivational because they have clout now. Yeah, but they, I mean, you saw what's the dark skinned guy named the host Walter when he introduced, he was like, This is my girlfriend. Turns out the bitch was a prostitute, you oh, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they don't have the experience, mm. you see what I'm saying? And it's because they, they wanted to be the guy like you in high school. And they wanted the girls to like them. And so they have to do stuff like this to get girls to like them. I wasn't but, exactly drowning in pussy in high school, to be honest with you. But I'm just saying, like, they, but they looked up to guys like you. You see what I'm saying? They want they want that. And hold on. For, oh, yeah. They want that. And so for, for guys like them, I'm going to be honest with you. Women like me, and I know a lot of women like me, we like guys like that. We like nerds. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? You get a hood nigga around here selling drugs or they playing sports, you going to be a side bitch, right? And I felt like because they they wanted to fit in somewhere where they didn't belong and, and, and the way they got treated, this is their get back at women. Now, we got the money, we got the clout. You you bitches need to submit to us and you're, you're nothing without us. You know what I'm saying? That's where a lot of that hatred comes from. Mm. But they don't understand women, real women, mature women will go for a guy like them as opposed to a rapper or or NBA player or a football player. They just don't understand it until they left with three, four babies by three different niggas. Right. You know? But in defense of Fresh and Fit, I feel like the important part of their message is to basically encourage men to act in their own self-interest because if you don't have these sort of red pill spaces, then you just have a bunch of guys brainwashed into thinking that women are right about everything because feminism is so pervasive in the workplace and in the universities and shit like that that it's kind of like hard to find like a male perspective that guys can kind of use to sort of base their life on. Like there's nobody at any point in a young man's life that comes along and tells you how to get a girl or how to date or how to talk to a woman. And I agree with that. That's why I said, like, I think without the message, 
you know, and, and if they got because they're not they're not very old men. Like, I don't even think they're I think they're like early 30s. Like 30s. Yeah, yeah early they, 30s. they haven't even reached 40 yet. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I think as they get they got older, they would see like, oh, the women really do check for me. Like, we love nerds. Mm. You know, we love those geeky guys like I do. And I know a lot of women that do, especially after they done been dolled out <laughs> by, by you know, the NBA players and shit. Like, you you chasing after this motherfucker, he got 10 bitches in line. Right. You know what I'm saying? Why This motherfucker ain't got no bitches and got a job and he educated. Why aren't you over here? But so much of that conversation kind of goes back to, like, okay. the body count thing and, like, you know, that women are basically useless once they've had a bunch of sex partners, which I don't really relate to as a person who, like, does not give a fuck if I meet yeah. a girl and she got 50, okay. 60, 70 bodies. I don't really give a shit. But to them, that just seems like overwhelmingly important. Yeah. I, and because they're still young, too. Right. You know, the 30s now is the new 20s. And mm. they're thinking like that. And I think they're going to regret a lot of the stuff because they come from women. They come from black women. And, right. You know, and I feel that. And, and, and me personally, I feel like women in general need to date and need to sleep around because there's a lot of women who settle in relationships. And I know them personally who have never had an orgasm. Mm. And a man doesn't even care to even get to know their body. Right. And so when you date around and you sleep around, you know what I'm saying? You will get to know what it is that you like. So when you do meet that partner, you know what I'm saying? Who's not as experienced. He, you, you know, nine times out of 10, he may not know your body, but you'll be able to teach him and have that confidence. But if you meet someone who hasn't lived life and, and you try to, you know, indoctrinate her and, and brainwash her. By the time she gets 30, 35, she's going to be butt fucking wild out here. Right. Let the woman go through her whole phase and then she will be exactly what you needed to be. The pussy will be good. Yeah. The, the, you know, you won't have no motherfucking problem. She ain't bitching and shit because she done been through some You shit. don't want to wife up a virgin because she doesn't know what the fuck that's she's missing out saying. on. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know? but these men, are, these young men with these young mess messages think that's what they want. Mm. But yet they constantly fuck on porn stars or, or, or go buy pussy from prostitutes. But yeah, you want your girl to be a virgin. That's crazy but there's, to me. But there's an asymmetry because a man can fuck a woman and just nut. Like, I can just nut with any girl on earth. I don't care if she's you 500 not, pounds. You but a woman can. A woman can. A woman needs to have sex with the same person exactly. over and over to be able to orgasm. Exactly. And so, but a virgin will never, and, and, and this is what I say, that men think they want virgins, just like you said, but like, no, a virgin will never be able to please you if you've been with an experienced woman. Mm. It's just not going to happen. Like, she doesn't have that confidence yet. You know, sucking dick or, or just doing different things. It's, it's not going to please you. So guess what? They end up marrying these virgins and still going out to buy pussy. Get From yourself women, a bitch with some miles on her. Yeah, a little bit, you know. A wino with some miles on her. No, the wine, my winos are very successful. Yeah. Women, okay? Oh, and they probably it. had some dick. I consider uh, myself a wino now. I know. There's a lot of people wino. I think I'm going to keep listening, yeah. You should. Yeah. You should. No doubt. Yeah. So, but no, like, um, yeah, Fresh and Fit, I mean, I just feel like, you know, right now they're doing anything for shock value. Mm. And I don't understand, like, why they didn't know YouTube was going to come for them. Well, they got demonetized. Yeah. And I feel like they might have regretted the uh, the clan hood skit at that a certain point. That was so fucking <laughs> ignorant. Like, how you out here winning? You yeah. got a good thing going. And you, you, you have Nick Fuentes on your fucking show. Right. You know, who they deplatformed, okay? Yeah. And then you put on a clan hood, and then you allow the motherfucker to say nigger on your show. I felt like the uh, the Knight Rider comments were a big moment in the culture where a lot yeah. of people decided they didn't fuck with them, too. Yeah, like, you can't say shit like that. That's irresponsible. And yeah. as someone who has a platform that has millions of followers, you still have a responsibility to ensure that what you're putting out is not causing hate mm. or, or preaching hate and things like that. So you have to be careful. And that's that young man mentality. They're out here reckless. I have a lot of guilt about the fact that I didn't end up with a black queen. How does your wife feel about that? I think she understands. So she, it just worked out with her. Why you want a black woman? I just like that. Are energy. you pandering to me and my audience no, right no, now? No, I love them. Ugh. We need more in porn. We could pick that shit up. It's though. so looked down upon in the uh, porn, in black, the black community to do porn. So it's like you don't end up with that we, many. We're the queens. We yeah. don't, mm -hmm. I know. I know. I need everybody to check out nojumber.com. We officially started a blog. It has in-depth articles about current events, music, et cetera, plus all of our content in terms of podcasts, interviews, et cetera. And you can get some exclusive new merch if you check out nojumber.com. So make sure you tap in.